Hello and welcome to this O'Reilly screencast. Today we'll be looking into mapping shared drives to a drive letter. Now if you access network shares on a regular basis, you may want to consider another access technique called mapping shares. Using this trick, you can assign a letter to a particular shared disk or folder on the network. Just as your hard drive is called C and your floppy drive is called A, you can give your family stuff folder the letter F and the backup drive in the kitchen the letter J. So to map a drive letter to a disk or folder, open any folder or disk window. Then in any explorer window, press Alt or F10 to make the old menu bar appear. Choose Tools and Map Network Drive. Now using the drop down list, you can choose a drive letter. Let's just go with Z for now. And then uh, we need to indicate which folder or disk that we want this letter to represent. All right, now I'm just going to select drive here. Here is the laptop. Something off my desktop here. Let's do the work folder. All right. Now we need to make sure that reconnect and log on is there because otherwise uh, Windows will forget the assignment the next time you turn on the computer. Okay, so let's click finish. And you see it opens the folder and there are the files inside that folder. Now doing this confers several benefits. Uh, first, these uh, disks and folders now appear directly in the computer window. And you see there's the folder right there. Now getting to them this way can be faster than navigating to the network window. Just click on them, there they are. Now secondly, when you choose file open from within one of your applications, you'll be able to jump directly to your particular shared folder instead of having to double click ever deeper through the icons in the open file dialog box. Uh, you can also use the map drive letter and path names anywhere you would use a path on a local drive, such as the run dialog box or a file save as dialog box or the command line. So let's go here. Now we can just type in Z and there it is as well. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you found this screencast to be informative. And for another look, the title of the book is Windows 7, The Missing Manual. Uh, you can find it at O'Reilly.com. Thank you for your time.